Hello everyone and welcome back to another Just Interesting stream. I'm your host Alex and today we are jumping back into the horror Lovecraftian world of... I was about to say Project Zomboid then. No, it's Bloodborne. We're back playing Bloodborne. Um, week three since the new schedule's been up. Um, and we're, we're pretty far into the game as we can see if we head over here and look behind us. Well... That's on fire. What a what a lovely shot that is. Um, but yeah, in the last episode, uh, or playthrough that we did, we uh, just beat Murgo's Wet Nurse, and we also did Kanehurst Castle. So in terms of the base game, I think we've only got four bosses left. There's the Celestial Emissary, that amazing, very, rememberable, very memorable boss. Um, and we've got Ebritas, and German, and the the moon presence left to go so this episode i thought we would do my least favorite part of the game and that's upper upper cathedral ward knock off the celestial emissary and hopefully anyway uh Ebritas as well and then from there i guess we can maybe even start the the dlc which is uh is fantastic it's one of the best dlcs of any game ever made fight me yeah, changed my mind. <laughs> um, so, okay, let's get going. Let me know in the chat as well, firstly, how everyone is. How's everyone doing today, um, this Thursday afternoon? But also if you can hear the game okay, if the volume's coming through all right. Let me know if there's any technical issues, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone is doing okay this fine Thursday afternoon. Um, pretty chill day for me here. Uh, but that is about to change as we play some Bloodborne. Right, so where am I going? Upper Cathedral Ward. I need to go to Cathedral Ward. There we go. So yeah, I would say that this isn't my favourite part of the game. Not because it's bad, but just because it's it's creepy, man. It's creepy. It's scary. Um, and it has some of the worst enemies in the game, which are those like brain suckers. And... Uh, I've got quite a close quarters weapon. I'm using the Blades of Mercy as Robin. Um, and they tend to not be as... Well, I mean, you've got to get close for them to be as effective, haven't you? So it's always a bit more scary. What's this lady saying these days? <laughs> no, just, just general creepy stuff. Fair. Fair enough. Here we go. So if you, if anyone is new to the stream and, and don't know, uh, we run a podcast called The Just Interesting Podcast, and I'm role-playing as one of my co-hosts, Robert, um, who I'm playing as right now, so. <laughs> okay, let's breeze through these guys. Hopefully that's the plan. There we go. Oh god, no, whoops. Oh, I haven't even opened the chest here. I don't even know if I've been up this way before. Yeah, in the game, this game anyway, in this playthrough. Interesting. There we go. I mean, I'm a bit overpowered for this this section at the moment. But then, watch me die right now. There we go. Ease down. Oh, no, don't shoot me, please. There we go. Kick him off the building. Lovely. So we want to go up there, don't we? Yep. Oh, 
Here we go. The sky and the cosmos are one, the choir. I never understood the significance of this note, why it's here. So if anyone knows, please, please let me know. But oh my god, just look at it. It's such an incredible looking game. Even, what, over 10 years old now, this game? It's just, I think it's FromSoft's best looking game. Or well, best uh, visual design in any of their games. But hopefully Elden Ring is about to change that. Here we go. Kill these wheelchair fellas. Uh, any more for any more? Oh, yep, here's one. There we go. Easy. Let's open this. I can't actually remember if there's anything I needed to get before coming here. You must accept inquisitiveness. I love the the rolling in this game. It's so satisfying for smashing pots. Oh, you felt that in your soul, didn't you? Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, I've got the key already. That's good. Upper Cathedral Ward. Here we go. Oh, good. Lovely. So this is the bit of the game that I'm not really looking forward to as much. It's it's a good bit. I'm not not hating on it. It's um just just really scary, man. Of course I missed. Oh my god. Oh no, don't want them to hit me. Please don't. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. away okay one of them's gone I'm not a robot guys in the chat it looks very cool the game or just this area in particular and also welcome to the stream I'm not a robot guy how's it going with you today but no it does look it looks very cool it is one of the coolest areas of the game um, it's uh, just one of the creepiest. What is that? What's that supposed to be? This area, yeah. No, the area is very cool. Um, but as is basically every area in Bloodborne, it looks absolutely stunning. Oh, no, I don't want to return to the Hunter's Dream. Let's go. Oh my god, what are these? Firing up the game as we speak. Are you firing up Bloodborne? Very nice. Where? What part are you at at the moment? Oh. got a rune there if you need any kind of uh advice or or um any information about the story feel free to let me know and i can refer you to some great google articles no <laughs> i i genuinely i kind of have a vague understanding of the story but there are some fantastic youtube channels that go into like the lore of bloodborne and everything and it's um it's really interesting Admittedly. At the Forbidden Woods. Ooh. So what, what's that? You've done Vicar Amelia. You've done Father Gascoigne. Did, have you done the optional ones as well? Cleric Beast. The Witches. If they're, are they optional? I don't think they are actually, are they? Um, 
Yeah, which ones have we done so far? You've got you've got a crazy snake area still to come if you haven't got there yet already. Actually, do you know what snake area in the Forbidden Woods? That may be my my least favorite. <laughs> You skip the witches. Honestly, I don't blame you. Don't blame you. They're, they're hardly even a boss fight. Um, it is all thanks to bonfire. Oh, it's all thanks to bonfire. Does that mean you can just lure him into the fire, I wonder? Let's see. Let's see. Come on, then. Did the cleric beast? Nice, nice. Did you do the um the blood starved beast? It's the one in in old Yarnum. It like gives you poison attack while it's while it's fighting you. I think that's another optional one. Oh god, oh god, these aren't good. Okay, okay, they're they're manageable. As long as you Keep attacking them. Choir garb. Ooh, what do we think for Robin? Arcane... No, no, I don't think so. Could change him into some knight garb. White church garb. Black church garb. I might give him some black church robes. Put a, put a fedora on him. Why not? <laughs> Give him some... Oh, you can keep Gascoigne's. Oh, and the soundtrack in this area. I don't know if you, can, you guys can hear it, but it's crazy. It's so eerie. It's kind of like 2001, A Space Odyssey. It's like... Oh, you know that one. Oh, no, that area was just freaky. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's that is quite a lot of Bloodborne, in fairness. Let's get my torch out for this area. Um, I mean, this area is also pretty freaky. Uh, you've got a tough boss coming up. I'm not a robot guy. Just to forewarn you, the forest one is pretty tough. The, um... Shadows of Yarnum. Oh god, I, I feel like they sneak up on you in here. I don't know which, which way is good. That's a good way of going. I think one of them like... Oh yeah, look, you can see him on the... On the uh, all the werewolves are on the chandelier up there. Oh my god, what's going on? Who's attacking me? Something's happening. I don't like it. Ah! Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Why is his eyes that colour? He doesn't have my souls. Oh, good. Okay. Killed one of them. <laughs> Holy shit, lol. <laughs> yep, that's what this area is about. Um, so, good luck. Good luck with this area, though, when you get to it. Oh, God. Nope, run away. Run away, run away, run away. If I can lure them one at a time, that would be nice. And using the door is also a good... A good tactic, I say, as I get hit. Oh, God. Oh, my God. They do so much damage. Let me hit you. There we go. There we go.
Oh goodness. Okay, here's the last one. Let's do this. Come on, come on, buddy. I am enjoying the Blades of Mercy a little bit more now. Um, okay. So... Do you know what? They aren't even the worst things in this area, though. It's the Bloodsuckers. Does not open from this side. Okay. Oh my god! Where did you come from? No, that's not right. Oh god, I don't like that sound. Oh yeah, there's one. Uh, let's just sprint at it. Yep, okay. Phew. Ritual blood, lovely. Um. Oh, okay. He's gonna be down here, is he? Is he gonna jump out of me, or is that him down there? That's him, isn't it? Oh no, that's a good thing that I want. Oh god, yep. Yep, he's there. Oh my god, look, no, no, no thanks. They're trying to sneak up on me. Oh yeah, these fuckers, yeah, that's them. <laughs> Beware of slimy thing. Good advice. Good advice all round. Nope. Nope. Oh, okay. He's trying to capture me. Nope. Nope. Don't like that. Go away. Uh, I'd like for him to turn around or maybe come a bit closer so I can sprint at him and, and, and attack him. That would be great. Oh my god. He sounds disgusting. Okay, good feet. Madman's knowledge. Pearl slug. Don't even know what that is. Uh. Oh, okay, so we're back in the main hall. Good. So is that? I think that's everything in here, maybe? There may be something background there. Well, good. So, we're coming up on the Celestial Emissary is the next boss, which he's not really widely regarded as a... Oh, God, there's one. Yep. Nope. No, thank you. Go away, please. Die. Oh, my God, there's two. Okay. And I just got an orphanage key. Fair enough. Uh. No. Oh my god. Yep. Jumps through the window, of course. That was it. This area is going to give me a heart attack, I swear. A 
we go. Peaswad's in the chat. He's raiding with a party of four. Peaswad, hello. How's it going, man? Thanks again for the raid. That's so nice. Um, welcome. Welcome to the stream, everyone. I'm back playing Bloodborne, uh, as you can see. Um, make contact. Let's do it. Oh, no, that's not the right thing. How are you today, Peaswad? What's going on? And how is everyone who's, who's come over with Peaswad? Um, let's, let's forget that. We are coming up onto our next boss. Well, actually, I think I can open a doorway. Let me just do that quickly, and then I'll head back, and we can do the boss. Today's your birth birthday, Peaswad. Oh my god, man. Happy birthday. What's up, fellow conspirator? Oh, happy birthday, Peaswad. Hope you're, hope you're having a, a good one. Actually, I've got to tell you, man. I've got to... Uh, I was listening to uh, a really good podcast the other day. What was it called? What was it called again? That's right. WT Conspiracy. What the Conspiracy Podcast. Which, uh, for anyone watching who may not know, you can find on YouTube and all other major, major podcasting platforms of your choice. Uh, but no, it's, uh, it's really great, man. Um, I really enjoyed it. I've watched the first, li or listened to the first episode on YouTube. Um, and I need to, need to catch up with the rest, but it's, it's really good so far. <laughs> Oh, no, no problem, man. I was thinking, like... Because it, it it made me kind of think, like, I've... We've actually been doing podcasting now for quite a few years. Um, and I, it took me back to, like... Or it made me think about when... Oh, my God, there's an alien attacking me. Sorry. <laughs> it made me think about when uh, me, Martin, and Robin were started the podcast on the channel that shall not be named. And, like... We had so many technical problems and so many technical difficulties, and I don't think I, we've, I've even really improved much since I started. So you, you your like first effort with with Sleepy was um, was great. I think it was better than our first effort <laughs> that when we first started. Um, anyway, here's a boss. Oh my god. Which one's the main one? Who's the main boss? See this one around here? I think he's the only one I haven't attacked. Yeah, there he is. Gosh. Oh, it's very close to dead already. There we go. Nice. Just released episode five yesterday. I mean, your video topics are great. Um, yeah, the moon landing one I thought was really interesting. I think uh, the point that Sleepy made in it um, that stuck out to me was when you're talking about like people that say oh why haven't we been back to the moon you know and i think one one of you said like it's a rock why would we <laughs> um bigger and better things it's better spending that money elsewhere um you know pushing on to mars and stuff which i thought was a great point i thought you both made really great points um so yeah i need to need to go back and have a listen to the rest of them we figure out the audio problem by episode four. <laughs> um, nice, nice. Um, I mean, yeah, we had lots of lots of audio problems. I guess the the wireless headphones that seems to be the the major major issue. Um, does it miss? Does it make you miss doing conspiracy only stuff? 
Um. To a degree, to a degree, I think having a, a focus thing about conspiracies definitely. Yeah, I, m I miss doing those, that kind of focus thing. But we we're talking about plans of bringing of doing more conspiracy focused stuff. Um, maybe not so much on the podcast, but maybe in a returning strand for legal reasons under a different name. But who knows? But we'll see. Uh, yeah, yeah. But no, I, I do I do agree. Those topics are great, and it's ones that we've like. It's always interesting to us. It's like all the time. Um, oh yeah, it's through here. I always get confused there because that smashing a window—you never really like do that in any other part of the game. Oh, I think we're going up against our second boss of the evening, which is Ebritas. Now this one is not just like that one that we just did. This one's actually quite difficult. Oh my god! <laughs> Stupid alien sneaking up on me! Oh, and another one? Go away. So, uh, Peaswad and Sleepy, what's your favourite topic that you've covered so far? And what's what would you say is your favourite conspiracy? As the as the conspiracy guys on the stream, anyway. Oh my gosh, frenzy. Ooh. Okay, I can summon another hunter if I'm struggling, but let's try and do it on our own. I've only got six health potions left. This is going to be terrible. Oh, okay. You're redeeming stuff. Stretch. Okay. Thank you for that. <clears throat> Thank you, Exodia. Thank you, um, Poster Check. Yeah. I think my posture's all right. Yep, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Peaswad, favorite so far is probably lizard people from episode four. Favorite overall is possibly JFK. <laughs> JFK is a good one. I think that, um, I could be wrong. I think Robin really likes the JFK stuff. Um, what's your favorite angle on the JFK stuff? I say as I attack this boss. Uh, so this is gonna be, this is gonna be great. There we go. <laughs> Ebritas, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. It's the lone gunman. Um, the babushka lady. <laughs> taken down by CIA. It was an inside job. Planned by... Uh, uh, oh my god, what's his name? The vice president then became president after him. Lyndon B. Johnson, right? Is that him? Yeah. Um, or... Um, what's the other? Oh, God. Kill these stupid aliens. Yeah, what what other ones are there? Um, but it was the, the Soviets, and that Lee Harvey Oswald was a Soviet agent. Jack Ruby was sent by the CIA to assassinate him, so he couldn't speak the truth. There's so many. Yeah. 
Oswald did it as a Manchuria candidate, yeah. Religion is the greatest conspiracy. Exodia. Coming in with an, a hot take there. I love it. Uh, what's your favourite conspiracy? Um, hmm. That's a good question. Do you know what's really... I, I generally regard myself as not someone who... Uh, you know, believes in extraterrestrials and aliens. Well, like, I do, but I don't... I'm not entirely convinced that there are UFOs that I've visited and stuff. I'm not a UFO nut. But those um, UFO... Recent UFO sightings um, that the US military released, you know, with the, the pill and the, the rotating craft, that's pretty interesting. Whether or not that's... Um, whether or not that's, like, secret military tech or or aliens who knows um i, I quite like that one that's that gets gets me going oh here she is i'm i really want my souls back But uh, I really also don't want her to kill me. Oh! Okay, okay, nope, nope, no thank you. Oh my gosh, I feel like the camera would the trade there. No! Oh my god! Well, I'm still alive somehow. I'd like to get away from you now. Oh my god, I'm stuck on the wall! Sorry, I would be more active with the chat, but uh, oh my god, this is uh, taking up all my attention. Oh my gosh, please, put a put a big message on. <laughs> I can't even pause the game. Anymore. I don't know what she's doing, but I don't like it. Oh god, nope, that's not good. Nope, 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 nope. Well, that would do it. That would do it. Uh, I'm not a robot guy, but religion as a whole can't be a single conspiracy, or could it? It's a cycle. So many religions, so many distractions. Um, Another great conspiracy is that humans pretty much start over every 10,000 years ago. Since bones and everything decays, we end up destroying Earth. Few humans survive underground. They have nothing and then repopulate to start the cycle again. That is a good one. That is a good one. Um, I always wonder, though, like with that one, how is it so... Such a, like, a... Uh, What's the process of going from having all that technology to then forgetting it and living in a cave, you know, and then having to start civilization again? Um, that's my kind of big thought with that, I guess. Oh, well, they. 
Also, have you heard of the... Do you guys remember the mud flood conspiracy theory? That's also a great one to look into. It's like... Um, I can't actually remember the details of it, but it's like history only existed the last 200 years or 200 years was were erased um and it was covered up by a big big mud flood and the evidence is that some buildings in some cities have sunk over time and and that's apparently burying like a huge civilization or some something or other Mad as a box of frogs, but it's um, a pretty interesting one to look into. make a video about FFS. Is that for fuck's sake or is that? Is that an acronym for something else? Oh god. Oh my god, wow, that was a big swing. Oh my god. I shouldn't be... Oh, for goodness sake. With the nuclear weapons, EMPs, and biological warfare, their technology would be almost null and void. Over the years, they would have to live underground and remember less each generation. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. Um, yeah, staying underground for generations, I guess, is the is the key there. Um, interesting. What's the what's the kind of evidence supporting it? Like, it's a it's an interesting theory, but. You said mud river conspiracy. The mud, yeah, mud flood. Uh, mud flood conspiracy theory. <gasps> no, thank you, Mr. Alien. Right, okay, here we go. We're going to do it this time. Swifto the Slows in the chat. Hey Swifto, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. I am just about to kill Ebritas with ease. No, I've, I've died several times. This is like my third attempt. Oh my god, no. Oh wow, okay. And looks like I'm gonna die straight away. Can you, can you not please? Swift over slow. I hope you know I read that hello there exactly like um, you and McGregor in Star Wars. Hello there. Oh god. Oh god, no, that's not good. Oh 
Oh my gosh, nope, nope, nope. That's really not good. Oh dear, nope. Oh dear. Habitas is uh, pretty tricky. If anyone's played this game and has any any tactics for me to try, let me know. Please, what you've seen some of the crazy stuff about having an iron hammer from like 12,000 years ago. There's also the computer found underwater in Greece, I think. Yeah, the um, Antikythera mechanism, I think it's called. That's also a very interesting, uh, very interesting topic. Yeah, I don't know if anyone knows what it is. It's kind of like a, but it's a super advanced, well, for the time, obviously, like an analog computer, which they should not be having around that time. I haven't seen anything about the Iron Hammer, though. That's cool. I'll have to have to look into that. Here we go. Um, what's this now? Fifth times the charm? Come on! Come on! Oh my god! No! She killed me instantly! No! Oh, thank you, Peaceward. I mean, I learned about conspiracies from Mr. Brown here. Oh, thank you. I'm not sure if that's how good that is, really, or how healthy that is, but thank you. <laughs> um, I blame all these pesky time travelers. They go back and leave things <laughs> like that just to troll us. I know. Clean up after yourselves, time travelers. <laughs> Exodia. I was with Brian when he was on the old channel. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Robin. Don't worry about it. That's um. I often I often call Robin Brian as well. Martin's in the chat. How's it going, Martin? Toughest boss in the in the game. Yeah. I mean, I think I'm. This is attempt number six at the moment. But I came very close that time. Um, how are you, Martin? How are things? Do you, Martin, was it you that I spoke to? We did a Mystery Files on the Mud Flood Conspiracy Theory. Do you remember that? Or was that Robin that I, I did that one with? Knackered. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I knew. Yeah, I can imagine. God, no, whoops.
Oh my goodness. This is so hard to keep up with the chat whilst also trying to play this game. <laughs> oh god, nope, nope. God. Oh my god, this is... Come on! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, no. No. That is how it's done. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, wow. Well, there we go. Martin, I've definitely talked about that before now. Yeah, maybe we covered it on a podcast as well. It's, um, it's an interesting one. What's your, what's your favorite conspiracy theory, Martin? Exodia says, I believe like 70% is that of, of conspiracy theories out there. So many things going on. What's your, Exodia, what's your favourite as well? Swifto the Slow, all too easy. I mean, I wish I could say that. It, it was actually, it was probably one of the harder ones I've had to do. Although Marta Ligarius uh, last week was also really difficult. Oh, Martin, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. You must be absolutely knackered. Um, hopefully it's... How long is it on for? Hopefully it's all... Things go back to normal soon for you. Um, let's upgrade a little bit. Go on. Very well, uh, what am I upgrading at the moment? Maybe health? Skills? I'm doing like a skill-based build for Robin. Um, health is probably the most useful. Maybe endurance as well. I'll get endurance up to 20 just for the balance. Uh, oh, okay. Two, two big things in the chat. Speaking of babies, Robin or Alex, anytime soon? Uh, no plans. No plans right now, please, Rod. Um, so no, not not yet. I I, I pl on Twitch playing Bloodborne. You know, I, that's that's my main focus for right now. Anyway, <laughs> um, Exodia, Hollow Earth, and UFOs. Hollow Earth is a, is an interesting one as well. Is that story of um, who was the is it Captain Bird? He flew to uh, Antarctica, and there's that story of him entering the Hollow Earth. Um, not sure how legit it was, but yeah. What was the other evidence for Hollow Earth? Uh, so, in the base game, we've done all of them except for Gehrman and the Moon Presence. So, I think it's time that we start uh, the DLC. I should probably update the title as well. What's a good title for this? Because I, I hated that bit with Ed Brutas and the Upper Cathedral Ward um, starting the Old Hunters. There we go. Let's update that. Um, okay, so where are we at? 
Where are we doing? I can't remember if I need to get anything before I start this. I think I just go to Cathedral Ward and let the big monster thing grab me. Exodia, what's um your favourite? Oh yeah, for Hollow Earth, uh, the Google photo of a huge hole in a mountain in Antarctica. Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen I've seen a couple of pictures, a couple of those pictures. It looks like a hole from space, but it's actually a hot spring. And also, there isn't there parts of uh, Google that's kind of blurred out as well. Although, I mean, it's Antarctica. They they probably didn't they just didn't cover it with their uh, satellite because who'd want to look over there? Because I'm sure they're rationale. Okay, let's get grabbed. Come on. Then. I'm gonna have a Curse have a look at this. Fiends, their children too. And their children forever true. Hmm. If you guys have the actual image that you're talking about, let me know, because I'm seeing some, but they I mean they're they're like drawings. Um, <laughs> so yeah, let me know because I'd be interested to see that. I might get up on screen. Let's analyze it. This can be a Bloodborne slash Hollow Earth and analysis stream. <laughs> um, oh, I thought we died and got transported back. No, this is the start of the DLC. Oh, and of course, there is also all those Nazis just chilling in Antarctica. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that that was the kind of bit of the theory that always made me a bit uneasy. It was like they had their UFO machines and they retreated into the Hollow Earth to start, like, the Fourth Reich or something. I don't know what Twitch's policy is on speaking about all this, by the way, but uh, hopefully we don't get absolutely cancelled off the platform. Oh god. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Peace squad. Nazis in Antarctica, Argentina, Cuba, and on the dark side of the moon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess the fact that like there were rat lines for them to go to um, Argentina... Maybe that's what, like, spawned all these other ones. Yeah, I mean, they're also in Cuba, and they're also on the moon. Um. Yeah, I can't remember the number, but there was there was quite a few that did manage to escape to Argentina, didn't they? Oh, God. You Oh god. Oh dear. There we go. <clears throat> what's the what's the first boss that's coming up? I think it might be Ludwig. Which actually is my favorite boss in the game. He's a tough one. But I I love the um the fight that's coming up. Yeah. 
I hate this weapon he's using. I need to get out of my gun. Some of that. There we go. Peasewad, I'm sad that all the content from ATC and ATG is unavailable. Yeah, no, I, I am as well, Peasewad. Um, oh, Robin, Martin says Robin's just sent us a video. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Okay, I'm going to have to... I'll have to watch that later, Martin. I don't want to... Can I show it on stream or is it is it bad? Is that from his... Um, the thing that he said that he was going to buy? Um, it's a test of his new camera. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, I'm excited to see that. And I'm happy he went and went out and got that. Oh, dear. Oh god. <laughs> but he's in his room on his own in the dark. Yeah, I just had a I saw the opening and it's just like the pan down, the dramatic pan down to him in his room. <laughs> it's great. Don't run and jump into him. Oh, for goodness sake, how did I miss? There we go. Nice. Finally. I admittedly don't know the Hunter's DLC as well as the rest of the game, so I'm a bit not sure where I'm supposed to be going. This seems right. He's got a boom hammer. Oh my god, this guy seems tough. Oh 
Oh, dear. Oh my goodness, that guy is ridiculous. Bloody hunters. God, and I have to start all the way back here. No. I wonder if I can just sprint through. I just want to get to the bosses. Here we go, here we go. Hello. Oh, no thank you. Here's Lawrence, just chilling. Eye pendant, okay. Um... Oh my gosh, I can't actually remember where I'm supposed to go. Let's... Let's go exploring. Guess down here? So good. Oh. Hmm. Destroy these machine guns. Nice. Swift to the slow. I'd live there. I mean, no, I'm not. I'm not going to agree with that. This is a horrifying nightmare. Um, maybe to visit, holiday there. Why not? Boom hammer one to the last. There we go. Nice. Yeah, that's right. Back away. from here. Delayed Molotov. Uh, 
Now, I remember this bit. Because this makes you think it's similar to the other game. But I think this guy is going to explode if you go near him. And what do I do? I immediately go near him. I just want to see. I want the thing. Oh, it's not worth it. It's not worth the risk. Oh, is this the bit with the blood bugs? Yep. I very much intend to run past this part because they are the, the worst enemies in the game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go away. Stop throwing up on me. What's through here? through here? Nope. Oh, hello. So many crows. Oh my god, no! Okay, I cannot get killed by crows. That would be embarrassing. There's a really scary dude near here. Maybe he's down there. Do I want to know? Let's have a look. Oh, yep, here he is. God, oh my god. He does not stop attacking you, does he? Have some of that. Good. He's done. so good, doesn't it? It's such a good looking game. I'm just going to admire the scenery for a second. Beautiful. Okay, where are we going now? Alright all, it's nap time here in the Peaswod household. No worries Peaswod, thanks so much for tuning in. Go and have a, l a lovely nap.
um, a well-earned nap. Oh my god. Thanks for your kind words about our podcast and as always much love. No worries, Peaswad. It was um honestly, anyone watching, go and check out Peaswad's podcast at What the What the Conspiracy uh, on YouTube and all major podcast platforms of your choice. Um yeah, WT Conspiracy. It's um well worth your time. What was down here? I don't remember where I'm going. Oh my god, where did you come from? He's fallen down, and I'm not going down after him, so best of luck, buddy. Oh, I think I know where I am. Yeah, I think the next boss is right up here. And I think it's Ludwig. Unless I'm mistaken. I could well be mistaken. Here we go, yeah. One of the best bosses in the game. I think this is like one of the best soundtracks in the game as well. Shout out to all the pebble drops. <laughs> Have mercy. Have mercy upon us. <laughs> oh my god. Absolutely horrendous. <laughs> I do not remember his moves at all. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay. Dangerous. Very dangerous. Oh my goodness. Nope. Nope. And there we go. Okay. I need to focus. Have a sip of tea. This is the one. Here we go, this is it.
halfway through, halfway through. God. No! Well, there you go. Ludwig remains undefeated. Um, that's sad. I don't like ending ending on a loss, but I think I could be here forever. And I'd rather start a next stream, you know, with a good win, 